I'm not going to contribute to the extinction of Igbo language. And as if you're paying that amount of money for your child to learn how to speak French, speak French or speak Spanish, you're learning, you're paying that amount of money for your child to 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 speak. Hello, my name is Chukwemeka, and today we are talking about paper pig. My food looks so, my plate looks so confused. <laughs> A shower or modest. Mm. Mm -mm. They say the beauty of a woman there for her front side. Pregnancy is the latest evidence of sexual intercourse. Chinese baby for so long. I've been waiting. Don't come and spoil my test bug. Double MG, the mother niggas fell off. Baby girl, I just wanna see you well off. Call me crazy shit, at least you call it. Feels better when you let it out, don't it, girl? No, it's easy to get caught up in the moment when you say it cause you mad and you take it all back. Good morning. I said no tripod for now. No tripod. I could do is fighting my tripod, so. If you just bear with me, I'll be carrying the phone like this. I had a nightmare today. In that dream, nightmare, because it's devil that sent that nightmare to me. I could have finally started talking. She talks, but she doesn't make full sentences, of course, like she's a child. She finally started making full sentences and was in English. English. The way I woke up, I started praying like, not on my watch. Not on my watch. She did not consistently speak you to you right from when you were like pim like this sad right from when you fired my coachy like the red sea and popped out. She said speaking Igbo to you. Not do all those all those things for you to let for you to just your first sentence to be making sentences in English language. Like I was so disappointed in that dream. I looked at her, I'm like, damn, is this who we are? I applied lip gloss this morning. I don't want my lips are dry. Wait, let me get, get lip gloss. Period. Anyway, like, in that dream, I'm like, I was just gonna like, is this who we are? Is this what we represent? Oh my God. Is this who we are? Is this what we represent? Who is that English influence? Bad influence that you have in your life? I was shocked. You guys, Igbo language is going extinct, like it's dying out. I'm not going to contribute to the extinction of Igbo language. Like I love being an Igbo girl so much, and part of the reason is just our language. I, I think our language is very beautiful. I think our accent is cute. You know, a lot of you might disagree, but it is what it is. So if I have so much love pure love and admiration for our culture i have to pass it down to the next generation i know Igbo language is not going to die in my generation if i pass it down to Ako and she decides not to give it to her other her next generation that's if she decides to have kids that's her cross to carry but it is my responsibility to teach her Igbo language to make sure she loves not only teach her Igbo language to make sure she loves being an Igbo girl I'll make the idea of going back home really appealing to her all these things are the things you do in order to make somebody or to make your child love their culture some parents don't see no shade what they do is that they speak English to their children and when they want to scold them they speak Igbo to them thereby subconsciously making the children associate Igbo language to negativity anything evil anything nigerian to negativity which is bad but me i will sp i'm speaking Igbo to her if i'm upset and i like want to yell at her i'll use english language i don't ever plan the way i'm going to cultivate self-love love of our culture and my child i'm going to cultivate it to the extent that she would never associate being nigerian being actually being an Igbo girl to anything negative but if i do all these things and she ends up you know being a cool that's a cross the car you know i got no friends in this village our language is dying out 
and we really, really 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 have to do something about it this might come off as judgmental but i don't care i i really i really do not give a fuck i don't I'm care snap. i don't care okay i don't I, I really don't give a fuck some parents like you live in abba you live in Enubi, you live in Onicha, Oka, Anambra state. Forget about the people that live in non Igbo speaking um, states. That's not an excuse. But you live in all those states. And yet your children don't know a word in Igbo language. What was the motivation of not speaking your language to a, um, to a child living in a, in a state that predominantly speak Igbo? Your culture, your language, like what is your motivation? Do you realize that when our generation dies out, the next generation is not going to know how to speak Igbo and you're happy? And I see a lot of people like they claim to love being Igbo, but you turn around like speaking this to your child and you live in Nigeria. What's up with that? You're so proud that your child doesn't even know a word of Igbo. It's giving shameless. You should be ashamed of yourself. If you're going to love your culture, I need you to stand in it and stand in it in all shades. Stand in it in all shades. Language is, a, is such an important part of culture. Passing it down to your children. There is really no reason for you to live in a predominantly evil speaking culture. In fact, for you to live in Nigeria, and your child doesn't know how to speak Igbo. You'll be chatting with your siblings in Igbo, enjoying the brotherhood. And then you talk to your child, Katie, Katie, come here, take this plate. You look like a clown. A clown? A clown? Why did I say it before? A clown? He's a clown? Why didn't I see it before? You people are single handedly due to your self hate or lack of self-love for your culture killing your culture because you don't want to pass that you don't want to pass that anything oh yeah if this will take you far that's why they have school they are going to learn how to speak it in school come on now come on now every other person will communicate in Igbo but when they want to communicate to the child that they will speak English what's that what's even crazier the most unhinged behavior in this life are people that would never speak a a, a peep of Igbo language to their children, but they will pay what a pay a huge amount of money for their children to go to a, after school to learn how to speak English in an American or British accent. And that's if you're paying that amount of money for your child to learn how to speak French, speak French or speak Spanish. You're learning you're paying that amount of money for your child to to, to speak hello, my name is Chukwemeka. And today we are talking about paper pay. You're literally paying that huge amount of money for your child to sound as if he or she has speech impediments. And you say you're not crazy. That is why Dr. Omar is opening a hospital for mentally sick Africans. I'm not upset with y'all because I know you're mentally ill, which is why one day I'm going to open up a hospital for mentally ill Africans. I'm gonna hospitalize you coons. People need some sort of rehabilitation in your life. I'm talking on, if you think I judged you, yes I did. You need to wake up and see that your culture, your language is dying out. You see, like, I don't want to bring other post languages into this, but most most other post languages, they are in, internationally recognized. But yours, who knows you? Because you're speaking chicken maker, come here right now to your child. Anyway, hi welcome back to another vlog welcome back to my channel if this is your first time seeing this face that's your first cut that's your cross to carry well anyway i'm going to make breakfast for myself right now it's going to be 12 49 akudo is napping so i'm going to make um breakfast eat. for what i'm making you need one of these two of these and this by now you guess what i'm trying to what, what i'm trying to make my normal breakfast what i ate last night um in the morning yesterday morning and the night before that and the morning before that yeah because if it's not broken i like you you're smart if it's not broken why fix it i can totally keep this in here
And I couldn't really make you stay, so what to do? I'm just staring at my walls and talking to myself now and then I'll try to laugh but I'll cry a bit as well I was never any good at being away from you I met you in the summer When you left it was cold Said we loved one another Guess that I'm going to attempt to play this because I really don't like it My food looks so, my plate looks so confused. <laughs> I need to find something to watch while I eat. As my show. I'll tell you one thing for sure. Manually doing dishes today was not on my agenda. Like I didn't see it coming. That so just it gave me a headache. Give me a headache. Like I'm never doing it again. Can't even function, bro. I want to sleep. The amount of dishes I have to do, and this is not all. Though. I have more in this. Champion and the lion is here. Yeah. 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 So just say the word Anything my uncle wants I run, run, jump, jump As fast as I can get to her If any man, I can Better than soup and money kill a mo I got my head I got her I got her I could have put her Put her I can't get her for her but Doctor's prescription. Three times in a day. Um, 
from this outfit is going to be disappointing though because I don't know that I'm going to wear crops. At least I stop calling that thing crops because it's not real crops. But I should. Wait. Yeah, but my leg makes me wear crops. It's kind of still cold. But I can wear my crops. But I can't wear boots, winter boots. Don't worry, listen. Like, get out of here, get out of my front with your winter boots. Get away from here with your winter boots! I said, get away from here with your winter boots! So, Crocs is a nice balance. And then for breakfast. Oh, carry the go, we don't carry the go. We don't carry the go. Yeah. Why the hell did you change my song? Why did you change my song? House. Take a shower. Off the line. My baby boo. You look so sweet. They say the beauty of a woman dead for her front side. You know we are all wearing shades of green. Are you copying us? Did you copy me? They can't even be original for once, even on your birthday. You know it still hurts a little bit, but not that much. Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I've been thinking about you all the time, but that's alright. I'm starting to get used to it, think I'll survive. I met you in the summer, when you left it was cold, said we loved one another. We are done eating. Yeah, this one we ordered extra, well, I because I thought their portion was going to be small. Their portion is huge, and all the draw for like your belly will be full. You'll be so full. So I got the extra we ordered just between to go plate, and yeah, this thing is so affordable. Yeah, we'll be coming here once a month. We are back. We came back a long time ago, Shaf. Not now. It's kind of different. We came back around 12 ish to one. And we slept for a little bit. Today is Sunday, but I'm not making anything. I went to other things out. Today is the day of putting outside. I'm still here, slowly rotting away, waiting for night time to come. There's nothing I'm doing today at all. Just watching her quickly um, and making sure she doesn't make any dangerous decisions. There's no need for me to vlog now. Like, I put just to watch me sit here. If that's what you want, though, don't say you're bored. I watch me sit here. I just call it the night. Watch this. You guys already know, like, to me, the worst part of being pregnant. The speed is going. Like, you are giving people evidence that you have sex. Pregnancy is the leg evidence of sexual intercourse. As I was saying, like, it's so much more difficult. The most of this is therapy. People stare at you like this. Talking about these people. That's how they stare at you. Let's try to go out with my husband. They are looking at me like this. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. And everybody knows. Everybody knows. That he fucks you. I'm meant to apply my skin. Downstairs, I took off my wig because, like, how am I wearing wig around the house? So, see what this guy ordered. 
for himself. I don't know what this is. But he other dumplings. Good luck to you. So this is my plate. I'm going to microwave it so that it will be hot. I'm waiting for my food. Chinese baby. For so long, I've been waiting for you, sweetie. For so long, when are you getting done? For so long, please, I'm hungry. Nah, I'm impatient. Don't go. Kenny, what are you? Microwaving is done. Beautiful plates. Let me put this one on top. I'm not only going to put just one. This one that looks burnt. If I can't eat it, I'll just give it to my husband to eat. Why is it so wide? Why are you so wide? You need to ask yourself that question. Why are you so wide? Baby. Can you help me? You need to get out of my business. Let me taste this dumpling. I'm come and spoil my taste bud. It definitely tastes like something. Tastes like. Let me keep quiet though. <laughs> no, you guys. Okay. It's okay. It's getting wet now. That's what you mean. It is. It's, it's wet. I don't understand why you do it. I finished everything apart from this one. Whew, I'm so full.